Hey guys, Mr. A here with my spoiler review and my thoughts and opinions and speculations about Avengers Infinity War. Now keep in mind guys, there's spoilers in here, so if you don't want to get spoiled, you haven't seen the movie yet, click off right now. But let's get started guys, my Avengers review. <laughs> All right, guys, this movie reminded me of the old comic books I used to read when I was a kid, the king size specials. They were like 25 cent, 50 cent, 60 cent, had a whole bunch of pages and had all these team ups. So to me, this was like a giant king size Marvel team up book growing up. And I was really excited. And if you want to guys check out uh, the Marvel comics from the 70s when Thanos was introduced, it'll give you some background. But this reminds me of a big king size Avengers uh, team up with Captain Marvel, Warlock fighting Thanos. Speaking of Thanos, Thanos also had all the stones of the Infinity Gauntlet, and I was very surprised. I thought maybe he might have had half of them, but he got all of them in this movie. The one that really surprised me was the Time Stone that was possessed by Doctor Strange. That's why Doctor Strange was in most of this movie, because it dealt with time, and he was trying to protect it from Thanos. So, I was also surprised to see the Red Skull. Last time we saw him was in Captain America, the first Avenger, when he was trying to get the Tesseract, which is the Space Stone, which is blue. And remember, he and Cap fought at the end of Captain America, when Captain America was trying to divert the plane from going to New York City. And then Captain America threw his shield, it messed up some of the controls, the Tesseract started to um, evolve, and the Red Skull was taken up into space. And we were trying to figure out where he went. But in the movie, we found out that he was transported to the planet that had the Soul Stone. So he's been there all this time, guarding the Soul Stone. So it was good to see the Red Skull. And I think we'll see him again in the future. It was also good to see Thor back in action. Thor got his eye back, he got another eye, and he got a new hammer. And this hammer looks like the ultimate hammer from the ultimate series in the comic books. So it was good to see Thor, now the king of Asgard, with a new weapon. Also, surprise, surprise, Nick Fury, when he was getting ready to disappear, he contacted Captain Marvel on his pager. So I was really surprised to see that. So we know, guys, that Captain Marvel exists in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I'm very, very excited to see that. Also, everyone disappeared except the original Avenger team. And I mean the Marvel Cinematic Universe Avenger team. Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Captain America, Iron Man, and the Hulk. So they're going to have to go and find Thanos and bring all those guys back. Because I got to have my Black Panther back and I got to have Spider-Man back and Doctor Strange. And I'm hoping some of these guys return. So there it is, my friends, my spoiler review of the Avengers Infinity War. Take care, guys.